So, I did a video at about 5, 6 o'clock uh, today. It's only just uploaded, and it's 5 minutes past 9. It uploaded at pretty much exactly 9 o'clock, which is called Brand New DualSense Controller and Pulse 3D Headphones. I basically unboxed them, uh, tried them out. Obviously, I didn't test them like online, uh, which is why I'm talking now. This video, uh, we will not be looking at the uh, the uh, DualSense controller because obviously I couldn't really try them. And even once I do try it on the PS3, it's nothing like playing it on PS5 with the haptic feedback, adaptive triggers. You know, it's just it's just not going to be the same experience. So I'll re be reviewing that controller. Uh, well, if I do decide to review it, I don't think I will. But if I do, it will be about 20th of November, the day after PS5 comes out. Uh, but for now. Let's talk about the Pulse 3D headphones. Like I said, I've been wearing them s since 6 o'clock when I um, uploaded that video. I, uh, I played some Injustice 2, which is the gameplay you're seeing at the moment. I uh, played about 5 games of that. Uh, you know, it was perfect quality. It's, you know, very nice. I was uh, kind of talking to myself while playing. I do that all the time anyway. But mainly because I wanted to hear how the, uh, the monitor feature is. And I don't think I've ever, like heard a pair of headphones as monitor this good like with some headphones there's like a slight only like 10 15 millisecond delay but you can notice that it's out of sync with your voice and then you start kind of like fucking up words other times it's too loud other times it's just not there this is perfect i can always perfectly hear just like a hint of my own voice in the background it is really really good um also in that time uh that i've Obviously, I was playing Injustice 2. I uh, I was talking to my my older brother Kane, Kane Man 97 on YouTube, and um, we was we was playing on Justice, and then we went on Rocket League. Uh, but the comms, like his voice was just as shit as it always is, because he has to talk through a uh, one of those PlayStation 4 cameras, so his voice was just as bad. My game quality uh, was on fleek, amazing game sound, but like my voice through his camera because obviously he has a camera which is sitting on top of the tv i can hear my own voice echoing right normally i hear it and it's kind of croaky uh distant sort of sound now it's immaculate it's an amazing sound every time i was like moving around on my bed and you can normally hear loads of creaks and uh, just moving right nothing no background noise it is perfectly channeled all the sound from my mouth and blocked everything out in the background which is absolutely amazing um I mean, for for ninety pounds, three D headphones already. That's a good deal. But with this this comfortable, that I've been wearing them sh five hours straight, and I don't plan on taking them off. In fact, most of the time I forgot they were there. Right? I mean, you can't get headphones that are this comfortable, have this good quality, three D audio, but also a microphone built in that doesn't poke out in your face. That is amazing and. I mean, a little feature, but it's quite nice to know, is that it doesn't block out your peripherals at all. Like, at one point, I could see a little flap on the side. I was like, what the fuck, how can I see that? It's, like, tiny, right? Um, and then I realised I had them on wrong. Uh, they were, like, slanted sideways slightly. Now I've got them back in the right position. Uh, I literally can't see any of it on the side. And, in fact, because of how good the monitoring feature is, which I know I've talked about loads, um, I also forget I'm wearing them because... My voice sounds like I'm in the real world talking to myself. They are very good headphones. And for £90, it's a steal. You you need to pick them up. I think they're $100. Um, also, probably just over €100. Euros. Normally, the dollars and euros is the same, and then the pounds is less, obviously. Uh, but yeah, so definitely pick these up if you haven't already got an amazing pair of headphones, because they are 100% worth that low price next I want to talk about the 3d audio and obviously mm, it's not that good on PS4 uh, and it on PC it will be just as good as PS4 and obviously on PS3 if you I don't even think you can use these on PS3 but if you figure out a way to use these on PS3 it will probably be shocking how bad they are so you know, the 3D audio isn't something you really notice, and when I did notice it, it wasn't that substantial that it blew me away with how good it was. 
but in Ghost of Tsushima, uh, I put up with the fact that I can't use a right stick, just walked forwards until I found a person in a village, and they was chopping, like, a tree down, and every time the axe hit, you heard the crack of the wood, right? So I thought, you know what, this is a good time to experiment, because with enemies, I'm fighting, I'm moving, I wouldn't notice when the sound's moving around me as much, right? But I went over to him, and I, every time he swung, I moved my camera slightly, so that the crack went around, like, it felt like it was going around the back of my head, and it is very accurate with how it moves around the back of your head, where it's, like, silent in the right ear, but really powerful in the left ear, and it just, like, the percentage, you know, it goes, like, 90% left ear, 10% right ear, and I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but it kind of just, like, swings around, it does feel like it's happening behind you as you're rotating your head, you know? So you're hearing it slightly in the other side more. It that is very good, and I can't wait to play some of the games that have amazing 3D audio features on PS5, such as Ratchet and Clank, uh, Gran Turismo 7, Demon Souls. All these games were written as like you need Pulse 3D headphones to fully enjoy these games, or if not, at least a surround sound setup. Something I mentioned in the unboxing video was that. Because of how many buttons there are, it might be somewhat confusing, but I've I've kind of like already mapped where everything is. And even in that video, I think I said that. I'm, I might not have actually, but I said I had it in my head and I was talking and I was feeling. I was like, you know, what? I think I remember where everything is. It is very easy to remember where everything is. So I, I guarantee I could list out everything correctly right now. I'm going to try. So top button is you swap between game chat and party chat. Then next down, you've got your, uh, your, oh, what do you call it, the, the background, the, you and the, oh, that's it, monitoring, uh, switch, then you've got your volume switch, wait, what, wait, have I missed one, no, there it is, then volume switch, then you've got your, uh, mute microphone button, such as, there, uh, and then, uh, we've got the, uh, type C charging port, the uh, 3.5mm uh, pin audio jack and then come on the front you've got the power and then the microphone which you just felt me rub my finger over I, uh, I just went back quickly because obviously I'm I've got gameplay running in the background as I'm doing a voiceover talking and I just went back and listened to myself and I noticed that the audio of the microphone isn't as good as it I heard it earlier and also as I heard uh, Mystic, which is a YouTuber I watch for PlayStation News and that, you should definitely check him out. Um, he kind of he kind of did like a, a comparison compared to his, I think they're a Blue Yeti microphone, which is what he uses for YouTube. Very expensive microphone, very high quality though. Uh, and then the original PlayStation 3 uh, Pulse headphones. Um, and then I think he did the DualSense controller, and then he did the Pulse 3 headphones and they sounded amazing compared to everything else like even the Blue Yeti they were on par with they were like on the similar level as that and that's why I was like yeah this has to be I'd already bought it but I was like this has to be something that everyone needs to get right if it's that high quality and for that cheap you need it but it doesn't sound that good so I, I'd like to know this but I'll probably do some researching of it afterwards um, after I record this video, obviously. Um, but I wonder if maybe, maybe on PS4 this controller's limited, uh, this headset's limited, but how good the microphone is. Like, maybe on PS4 you can only have a certain input. It does sound better than Will's microphone. Um, I'm not saying that as competition, I'm saying he has quite an expensive microphone. Um, a uh, headset, sorry. Uh, and also it's got one of the ones that sticks out, so it should be, like, more accurate audio but no these these are better than that so don't go getting a new turtle beach this generation get these um but i mean it just didn't sound as good as i remember it sounding but, you know either way it's still very good and i'm sure that on ps5 it will probably be better uh because well i don't know i just don't remember it being kind of this quality you know I guess the last thing I really need to talk about is the battery life, because the battery life of these things, it seems good. I really want to just run it down to 0%, just to see how long that would last. 
but I didn't get it on 100%. I got it on uh, two out of three bars, so two thirds of the battery full. Um, and I've been playing for five hours, which is almost half of the battery life, and yet it's still on two bars. So I've got feeling it might be more than uh, than the uh, the twelve hours of battery life that was said because I mean if it hasn't gone down a, even a bit, so that's a bit more, bit more than like uh, four hours per increment, isn't it? Either way, uh, it might just be that it will go down soon, or it might be the first charge is a bit better. You know, you have those with some things, like with phones and that. I noticed with my first ever charge of the iPhone I got uh, Christmas time. Not for Christmas, but just after Christmas I bought it. Um, the first charge lasts me for three days. And then ever since then, it's like I have to charge it at least like once every two days. But it was like, for that first time, it lasted three full days from 100% to 0%. Uh, and then I charged it up to 100%. And it'd last me two days, even though I was using it just as much, maybe less. Uh, it might be like that with the headphones, it might be the first charge is decent, you know. But if not, then I guess it's just these will die and I'm being... I haven't noticed the battery going down or whatever. It would be nice if there was a way I could see what the battery's on, like percentage instead. Um, but sadly that isn't a thing. Either way... I've, uh, I've really enjoyed doing that unboxing video and doing this review video here just to try and uh, kind of explain to you th th these new headphones which you definitely need to go out and buy. Uh, I'd suggest, I would, yeah, I'd recommend everyone to go out and get these with their new PS5 when they do get a PS5. If you don't have the extra £90 laying around, it's not a necessity, it's not like you need it. It's just, it's definitely a nice luxury to have with the amazing new console. Let me know if you want to see more videos of this, more game reviews, uh, accessory reviews, stuff like that, uh, by liking the video. Um, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, if you want to see more videos like this, gaming videos, updates on PS5 and future consoles and stuff. Um, but obviously that's completely up to you, <laughs> I couldn't really care. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Supergirl wins.